Okay, so I was playing a little bit with the faucet pipe and you see the goal is to have a 90 degree over here. 90 degree over here and 90 degree with a, uh, with a, with a wall. Uh, but I can check this only with the level. So uh, remember to have this level to the level to the top everywhere 90 degree the uh, valve itself also has to be in level and uh, it also has to be uh, what I'm also checking I'm putting straight edge on the top of the uh, valve where we have a flat piece and I'm measuring distance on the sides from stud to stud to ensure that the valve is not crooked so there's lots of to consider to remember to install it perfectly um, okay so this is it Right now I have all the small fittings, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, place them here. This is for the hot water, the cold water lays over there, so I'm going to play with this in a few seconds, do the final soldering and I will keep you updated. Okay, so I'm flying this flux, solder paste, all the fittings. This is how it's gonna be connected. Okay, making sure that there's no any everything went all the way the way it's supposed to. So the one is ready to be soldered, and I'm gonna work on a mm, cold now, and we'll stay. We'll keep you updated. Okay. On the soldering, I don't, I'm not going to show you all the uh, soldering. You already have an idea how to do it on some of my other videos. Um, you can see how it's done in detail. But pretty much. Same situation here. And like I said, the only difference between the shower valve installation and the top valve will be we have a faucet at different location and the rest is pretty much same same valves to be used same components Okay, so everything been connected, uh, all the soldering done. I have uh, this piece with a Teflon tape that I will tie it over here nicely and cartridge. Now once all the soldering is finished we can uh, definitely place cartridge back in its position. So this is for the Moen, we push it this in, there's a pin that will block it from the top and uh, Later we will connect this pipe, it's not necessary for now, uh, for the water test, because uh, the first water comes from the bottom faucet always. So uh, let me put the cartridge in and uh, see if there are any leaks. I know there will be no leaks, because uh, everything been done exactly the way it should be. So, so stay tuned and there's a little bit more to come. So we back the day two on the installation of our valve. Uh, what we did yesterday, I uh, mm, cut out the entire valve and the valve been replaced with a brand new piece, Moen. We rearranged this a little bit and we did the water test. The mm, uh, shower valve been exposed for almost 20 hours now. Uh, with the pressure on to double check if there's no any leakage happening uh, in the first uh, hours after installation because if there will be any it usually happens in the first hours after installation when water penetrates uh, unperfect joints 
In this case, uh, there's no leakage, everything looks very good. We ready slowly to cover the walls. Also here, when we have the shower head, we want to make sure we have a 90 degree here, here, and of course from the top or from the bottom, depending how you will check that, uh, in order to have everything nice square and the way it should be. Our valve over here, all the fittings connected, all the soldering done, and uh, I will still show you how to uh, install the fixtures on this particular project. It's to, it's to come after we will be done with the tile installation. Okay, so uh, I have the valve in place, all the tile work has been accomplished and um, the next step are the fixtures. I have the faucet and this is the only difference between the regular shower and the tap shower like the one over here, we have this faucet. So um, what I'm doing, I have this pipe already sticking out. Uh, that I told you about previously and um, this piece actually slides on top of that and here we have a hex that will tie it so what I'm doing I'm pretty much sliding this in I want to make sure that it's nice and leveled it goes along with the tub so it shoots straight to the tub and I will tie it with this hex I'm going to tie it in just a moment so the, but the faucet is in place when it comes to the other fixtures it's the same situation as when we work in with a regular shower here is our first element that goes on a valve then we have a temperature uh, adjustment pieces this is what this is for adjust the mm, uh, temperature of water that will be coming out from the faucet and here we are pretty much opening to the left so this is another element but before we do this one we have a plate so this is our plate and the plate I'll just put two screws that comes with the kit and it will be screwed in. So let me work on it and I'll show you an update shortly. Okay, so we have these pieces in place. Um, the last step is our handle and handle has a notch over here so and over here so once we have the handle in like that position we have to put the screw over here and tie it from the bottom so this is something that we do next this is our screw and this will go like that and will actually hold our handle in place
So we have those two forks already in place and later here you can put uh, either matching grout color caulking or silicone to kind of seal this because um, there's always some small gaps and water may eventually get behind the faucet. So it's recommended to do a little bit of the silicone or caulking around the faucet and, um, and maybe also over here. The last piece will be shower head and shower head fairly simple. This is our pipe. We will put Teflon tape on the threaded fittings. We have a trim piece and we have the shower head. So this is something fairly easy to do. So all the fixtures are in place and the shower head is in place. So, so yeah, so this is uh, how this uh, setup is done for the regular tub and well now it's ready to be used. Everything works, all the towel work finished so, so yeah I hope you enjoyed this clip. I showed you how to set up the, mm, the tub faucet and the valve and how this is done. Um, on the other videos from this job you can see actually how I'm tiling this project, how I'm removing tub, how I'm putting a new tub in and how we install tile board. So all of that you can see from this project on my channel. This is our accent so. Alright well Thank you for watching and well, I'll see you on the next one.